Hey everybody, or Fiolesio. Welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, we continued our, our climb through the Bionis interior. Well, we started our climb through the Bionis interior. This time, we're gonna finish our climb through the Bionis interior. So, finishing up this dungeon. Uh, I can't remember the correct route, but um, we have one side passage left I want to take. So yeah, we're finishing up here. So, coming up onto the sides. Well, I guess let's go sneak past where this monster would spawn. Yeah, I took the wrong turn. Oh well. Not the worst thing I've ever done. And a tap, tap, tap. So I guess let's go finish this place up. We don't have much. This dungeon is not long. So we got these animals that have response to Sparia, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. So, finishing up this dungeon, I guess let's go continue the proper way, head, head up here, and head to this little junction up here. This junction is, well, a junction that kind of breaks things off to where we do need to go. There's a guy gets down there, there's a pathway back there, and the way forward is right here. So, we are back on track. So, let's go come up here. Okay, thank goodness you're not high leveled. So... We're still missing one black rubber bean. Oh well. We'll probably get that sometime this episode. But before heading forward, before I head out to the uh, next location to go to, come claim up all the way here. We're here at the Terminal Nerf Tower. So we are almost done here. Next up, we're gonna backtrack to, or our way back to this little uh, central plaza thing. Let Mr. Jump Scare jump scare you up. And we have a little tunnel over here. This tunnel is kind of interesting in where it leads. So, bloodworm. Mmm, bloodworms. Anyways, like I was going to say, inside here in this little kind of inflamed tube. Yeah, this tube is not that wide. We're at the th third long bronchus. Or brochus, or how the hell they say it. It's a place. So, we are here at the third long. The happy duck. So, if you climb down here, this is the Kool-Aid Geyser. We have not been here in years. Oh, it seems like years. And right here, we are still the unique monster, Avid and Stan. This is the fi no, penultimate unique monster. So, Avid and Stan is kind of powerful. Mostly in the front that well. It sucks. And it could be worse, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So we got ourselves our chain tech race set to kill. Mostly the, the theme with this guy. Beware of Delta Cannon and beware of him toppling you. Otherwise, he is not too bad of a unique monster. So I guess I might as well see you guys once this guy's done. He's not too bad. Okay, easy guys. Where the hell did you come from? So I guess also here, there's another unique monster that I forgot's existence. Mystical Klesda. Besida. You know you're forgettable when I forgot you even exist. Well, this guy exists. He's not too special. He's a normal stuff. Antibody assault. Uh, sure, why not? Can't attack chance time. Uh, you exist. You haven't forgetting you even exist. And no sneaky. Oh well. Nice, times four. Lightning. Yep, we got this. Easy peasy. And Plethia Ladder. Two unique monsters done at once. And we get Mag Storm level 10. Nice. And inside here, Meteor Staff. Ooh, Vanguard Driver. 
I forgot we got we had to finish that quest. You know, I'm not too bugger about that side quest because you get a Vanguard driver from it. We've already been getting Vanguard drivers. Yeah, I'll do that in the post game when I remember. So, let me meet you guys back at the uh, landmark. Alright then, starting from the terminal nerf tower. We're going to continue our way, climbing our, our way up. We are almost done here. This dungeon is not long. It's cramp pack as many annoying enemies as you can in one little stretch. Throw in a very rare item, and you call it a day. So, upon coming to the back, we're going to sneak around here because there's some um, jump scares here. And we have Ghostly Mahatos. Ghostly Mahatos. It exists. He's not much of anything, but there is a thing about him. You might want to control Shulk for this battle. Either Shulk or have Melia be on high alert. Because he has a super aura that has his regeneration rate be, be cranked through the roof. Ether Cannon, ow. Did that, do that wasn't too bad. So let's go finish you out. You, you are kind of annoying. You are, in, you are in route though. You don't have to go too far out of the way. Too bad you are one of the harder unique monsters here. One of the second hardest here be behind um, the Dark King simply because of how the Dark King functions. And for you, um... Sneaky. Ooh, times four. Boom. Okay, pretty soon you're going to start using your talent art. Or your super art. Nope, you know that ether cannon. Ow. You know that hurt, right? Okay, so we're getting there. A lot of buffs. Damn it! I just realized we were on that thing. So channel five. High ether damage inflicts spine. Okay, can I get unbinded soon, please? There we go. I guess let's go for the topple. Mostly so that way we can uh, focus you down more. Okay, chain attack time. Nice. I'm gonna keep this chain attack going on forward. So, let's finish this battle out. Okay, good thing you were, we were able to kill you before you got your super aura off. That super aura. He'll regenerate faster than you can deal damage. Jaws of death. Okay, whatever. And got satellite shot. Nice. Another blood worm. And coming out to the end, we have ourselves another heart to heart. Ricky Melia. Yeah, no. Okay, there's only one more chance we can get for a... Uh, Black Liver Beam before we conclude the dungeon off. I mean, getting two on one run. I would say that's pretty damn good. So, I guess with that, we have the final stretch at the Aortic Pathway. So, hopefully, I can continue this chain attack going all the way up. And we get ourselves another set of sparks. So, okay. Now we're here at the highest level possible. I am not looking forward to this boss. Time to go to what I consider to be the hardest boss in the game. Not is it hard, it's annoying as hell. Melia, Shulk, and a healer. That is going to be your best bet. So right down here is the last possible place to get yourself a blood worm. Not blood worm, a uh, liver bean, and tap, tap, tap. Okay, looks like I'll be making runs later on. At least we got one of the liver beans we need. But up ahead, we have ourselves the heart. So that should be the last occasion here, right? Yep, that is all the locations here on the Bionis interior. Just look at how huge this place is. But let's go ahead into this uh, doorway to hell. Welcome to my world. I must say, I am surprised. Zanza's vessel truly does have a will of its own, and looking quite sprightly. I'm still alive. I won't die. Not yet. 
And that's why we're here. Everyone who lives in this world has a life. So, it shouldn't be threatened by anyone. We'll never give in to Zanzar. Hmm, so full of passion. Well, if it's life you're looking for, I'll show you true life. <gasps> it's... Brother! There is no use in calling. It worked before, but now his transformation is complete. He is my adorable servant. the word telethia it means that which eliminates impure life impure life just like you that which lord zanza does not require shall be extinguished from this world okay time for telet time for tyrea not tyrea um uh, you know what I'm talking about. I forgot her name. But starting out, you want to focus your, yourself down on these little, little Telethia. These little Telethia are going to be your best bet for taking her on because she increases her defense the more Telethia there are around. So, we almost got one down. Ugh. This boss sucks. Horde battle. Can't be confused. So, Ricky into this battle is going to be really good. Can I... Oh, we were, uh... Heart lock. Oh, frickin' course. So, we got one more Telethia down. Can I please be un... Thing, please. Pretty please. There we go. Now I can finally do this battle. So, this battle has been quite the uh, train wreck starting things out. Meltdown. Okay, it's so, so we have Tolethia, Tyrea here now. Tyrea is on her own. So, Tyrea on her own is going to be a whole lot easier now because her defense is going to be lowered. Yeah, yeah, I'll pay for, I pay for my insolence. It's called being stuck in, in one of the worst battles in the game. So I'm waiting for our... Can we get chain attack, please? There we go. Chain attack time, here we go. Dokes turn. Go for a cyclone. Deal with that ether damage. And... What? Freezing 8. Get some kill damage then. So, shield recovery. Applying doing that. Um, doesn't look like she got anything new. Elemental barrier. So, she's going to start the cycle all over again. Or not. I don't see them. What? Pay for this insolence. Morathea. Or you could talent art. Ow. Confused. Help me, please. Don't make me push into... Thank you. Screw you, Lorathea. Get away from the ether. The ether is one of the reasons why this battle sucks. Because, well... Let's just say... Your party members are as dumb as bricks. And, um, the frame rate here is about as bad as bad can get. Come on, buddy wankers. Yeah, the frame rate here, I'm, I'm, I'm running on like zero frames per second right now. Let's finish you out. Just 
Us. Holy crap! I'm dazed, toppled, stuck in lava. Screw you, screw you, Lorathea. I've had enough of your bull crap. I've been stuck here at 20 frames per second. I'm in Lake City. Just die. Take this, Lorathea. To you and to everyone. Because of our transformation into Telethia. I am a princess, but I brought misfortune upon the high end here. I. I. You are mistaken, Melia. The Telethia gene lies dormant within us all. There was no escaping the cursed blood in our veins, sister. It was fate. That is why our father sought to dilute the bloodline. <laughs> you are the hope of the High Entia. You will not transform into a Telethia. Even after the Bionis has reawakened, you can still succeed the Imperial line. You have the power to end our suffering. Knowing this, both I and Father were happy to sacrifice ourselves. It was our choice. Brother... There is no need to fear. After all, this is precisely our wish. In the end, you are the only ones who can stop Zanza. Yes. Now, leave her to me. You must go. You must accompany Shulk. No! My Telethia! You! What have you done? I have done nothing. This is your destiny. Accept it with dignity! Ah! My body! No! I was promised immortality! Ah! Brother... Melia... At long last I can be with father. You must now live your own life. The path you forge, the future you choose. That is the hope of the High Entia. Thank you, brother. Your words will stay with me forever. His words? Oh, Ricky heard. Ricky heard Melly's brother. Oh, Callian say, hope of bird people. Hmm, where Melly's brother? Oh, Ricky not see him, but Ricky hear him. Ricky. You too heard his parting words. Thank you.
Melia. Thank you for your concern. I am all right. Let us go and secure the future my brother so hoped for. We will. Together. <laughs> Such a brave princess. <gasps> Dixon! Don't look at me like that. I take time out of my schedule to send you off to a nice spot. And that's how you welcome me. What do you mean? I'll be waiting at Prison Island. I've picked out a lovely place to return your flesh and blood to the Bionis. Don't keep me waiting. See ya later. <laughs> I'm gonna... Come on, everyone. We've got to get to Prison Island. Okay. And with that, we have a way to go. So, might I just say, next time in Xenoblade Chronicles, we head to Prison Island. I'm surprised I didn't die to Lorothea once. Lorothea... is a pain in the ass. It's an annoying boss battle, hard to beat. I have no idea where that where that ether reaches. I just noticed the ether pools in here, but Orthia has a horrible boss. Honestly, I thought things would be a whole lot worse, but didn't didn't do too much um falling to, falling to the ether. Yeah, I'm quite sad. There's too much. There's some stuff I want to I want to go through the battle. Just um focus on the mini Tolatia, have Melina lead. Focus on the uh, mini Tolatia. Mini uh, Nebula, sorry. And try not to get knocked down. Good fitting's gonna be good, but I just yelled it. So, next time, we had a prison island. I'll see you guys then.